And all you want to do is laugh <laughs> your whole life. Kiki, ha 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 ha. What's going on everybody, it's Steve Pindell. Welcome back to TV Now Auto. I'm here with my homeboy Wes. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go check out the last video we did. I hooked this Tesla up with some yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah. We, we put some lights in there, some uh, and up under, the, up under the bottom. Yeah. Got that thing looking like Fast Too Furious over there on this channel. So I'm working on other cars too, not just the Bronco. The sun is beaming. It's Ooh. 90 degrees down here in South Florida. 94. 94 degrees on March 2nd. So happy winter to uh -huh. y'all. Hope y'all are cool and cozy wherever you're at. We got 67 design. We have their uh, half a rail. I've seen multiple channels with the full rail, and I know a full rail is not needed for my vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna do a half a rail. Um, I'm gonna put, be putting a phone on there, a GoPro, and an Insta360. That's probably the maxed out it'll be. I could put another phone holder for a passenger, but they're on their own. They need to enjoy the roads, the outdoors, pull the top back, look at the stars, look at the sky, and, and focus and navigate. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like old school days when you had to drop a map and, and help yeah. the part, you know what I mean? You're supposed to co pilot. Mm -hmm. You're probably too young for the, the you map there. You know how to read a map? You think you can read a map if you had to read a map? I did the map quest thing, you know, back that's, in the day. That's, that's, oh, that's old, but it ain't yeah. old. I know. You I'm know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's like. A, turn left. Yeah, it's like real actual maps, uh -huh. map quest, mm -hmm. the GPS, mm -hmm. and now like the, the smartphones, iPhones, okay. calculation. Yeah. Hey Siri, home. Like, and then we're gonna uh, collaborate this with uh, Quad Lock. Uh, I already have a Quad Lock phone case. Charge my phone like that in the house with the quad lock, mm. and I also have the quad lock in my other vehicle. So I know I could have used 67 Designs arm and clamp my phone on that way, but I wanted to do it this way because I already have the quad lock. Uh, here goes the plane. Gotta love it. I already have the quad lock uh, case on the phone, and it's gonna be able to charge when I attach. That's what we're doing today. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn your notifications on, tell a friend, and tell another friend about the channel. Point at him one more time. All right, let's get started. All right, here we are. We are inside. Uh, this is the half a rail. Boom. Uh, we're going to place the half a rail like so. It has 3M tape here. You can use the 3M tape or you can screw inside the dash. Today, I'm just going to use the 3M tape because this also goes here and, and screws in here and screws in here. So it'll be stable with the 3M tape and this. Uh, first, we're going to take this little piece that, that it came with. Came with this piece, came with this, and then the three screws. Uh, the three, a screw for here, four screws, I'm sorry. A screw for uh, here, here, and then the two sides if you want to screw into your dash. Um, but we're, what we're first going to do is knock this out. All right, so we're going to take this piece, and I'm going to put that right through there. So we have the screw going through here, the bottom piece, and I'm going to do it with my hands. Just to get it started, I'm not going to make it too tight. And then take the rail and slide this through, turn it to the side like so. Boom. You see that, guys? Slide it right through the bottom of the rail. Slide it right on in there like so. And we just set it up here on the rail. Get it nice and centered. Then we come through with this. And then we'll be good. Then we can start the tightening up process. But I'm going to take this back off because we got to take the 3M tape off and then do it. But I'm going to clean this surface before I lay the 3M tape down, of course. Shout out to another airplane coming through. The sun's coming this way, so you won't be able to see it. I, he tried, he tried. Can you see it? Where is that? It's to the right. Nah. Wait, oh, no, it's gone. Airplane's always coming through the video, baby. All right, we're taking the 3M tape off. Bow, bow. I'm just going to put that on the floor. I'll get that later. We're going to come up top with it here. Hold. Boom. Up top with it here. Line this up. Just want to make sure we're centered before I push down. I already cleaned the surface. It is important to clean the surface off. Want to make sure we center it. That looks good to me. All right, we're going to get it here. The entire rail is 11 inches, so half of 11 inches is five and a half. And we spot on right now, so we're good. So I'm going to push down for the 3M tape. Push down. Boom. I'm going to take here. We're lined up, thank goodness. Probably should have screwed that in a little bit more at first. And it came with a small one and a big one, so we're good here. Boom. We're tightened up right there. We're tightened up right there. So there is the railing. Let's get a close-up on the railing. And then all you do is put your track balls on there and get yourself all set up. I'm going to set up everything for you guys. I'm going to set up the GoPro. I'm going to set up the Insta360, and I'm going to set up my phone. So I'm going to take you guys through the process of doing that. Once again, I just used the 3M tape 
and did not screw into the dash. And it is in there. Everything's pretty, pretty tight. Boom, we're looking good. All right, let's roll. All right, so we got the handle all set up, tightened it up here. We're gonna loosen it up right here to get it ready. Have the ball here. This is the quad lock. Um, the dope part about this quad lock, I'm gonna pop a cord in here, and then I'm gonna run it right here. And I'm gonna be able to charge my phone once I have it on the holder. Pop that in here, twist, 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 boom. Get that nice and tight on here, boom. Normally, people will use this. This is nothing against. Uh, Route 67, love y'all, love the product, but I want to be able to charge my phone and my phone is actually going to lock when I put it on here. Check it out. Locked. Locked. And it's going to charge as well as being locked. So that's why I like the quad lock. I charge my phone at night like this, no f searching for the phone charger or the charger pad. It locks on, I know it's charging. Sometimes you lay your charger, lay your uh, Apple Watch, whatever, and down on those charge pads, you think it's charging, you wake up, and the battery's dead. You're like, dang, I thought it was charging all night. That has never happened with this yet, so that's why I rock with the quad lock. Link in the description for them also. This is not paid promotion, but if y'all wanna work something out, bang my line. Boom, snap that on right there. Make sure the ball's all the way inside, it is. I'm just tightening it up, tightening it up. I can easily loosen, adjust, or do whatever I want here to make sure it's to my liking. Won't deal with any shaking, any rattling. Um, this is moving a little bit and tighten that up and that just eliminated that. No movement at all. Oops. Butterfingers, fumble! Perfect. Now to be there, love it. I'll be there like that, or there like that. Here guys, um, this is the complete setup. This is me here. Hello. Um, I don't have a shirt on, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I've done. What I've done. Of course, the phone's not on here because it's in my hand. I'm filming with my phone right now. Uh, everything that I that I used will be linked in the description. Uh, as far as uh, 67 design, it was like I thought I had all the parts, but I didn't have all the parts. I ordered um, this piece. I ordered everything. Then I figured I needed this piece. Then I wanted to mount my Insta360. And I'm like, okay, I gotta buy a trackball. So I bought another trackball. So I had the ball. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta buy the piece that goes in the bottom of the Insta360. I got that. Then I found out I needed to get this. So it's been like a whole month process doing this video. Uh, maybe I'm illiterate, maybe I'm a bit special, but this the site for um, 67 design itself could just be a little bit more clear. I feel like a few friends of mine that have used their products as well. It's not like bundles. It's not already put together. You really gotta go piece by piece and you think you have enough pieces, but you got, you're missing one piece or you get a piece and it's the wrong piece. Customer service was cool. Took them like a day or two to reply back, but it, it could be a bit confusing just reading that stuff online and the pictures aren't the best online. But once you get this thing rocking in here, this is stable. So off-road, camping, whatever you wanna do, beach, sand, woods, trees, it's sturdy. Everything is sturdy, nothing's shaking. 
everything's good. Shout out to Quad Lock too. So I kind of put mine together. I use 67 Design and Quad Lock, uh, like I explained earlier in this video. But all links are in the description. It's gonna be dope. Uh, for the Insta360, I have a mount for that as well outside of the car. I'm gonna have the Insta360 outside of the vehicle catching shots uh, most of the time because I just don't want it, the interruption of this glass. I, um, I used the GoPro on it already and I shot and then I was like, ah, I just got the car clean and you can see come some spots on the glass. So it kind of, the footage wasn't as crispy as I wanted it to be on the GoPro. The spots kind of messed it up, but um, we're gonna get some dope shots. Uh, we're gonna do some ride alongs. So I'm gonna hit up like South Beach, Wynwood, Brickell, Fort Lauderdale, the Strip. Like we're gonna do some ride alongs. Daytime, nighttime. Uh, videos coming soon. Finally got this configured and put together. You know when I want to get out of my vehicle and put this stuff in somewhere safe, I have the safe to throw it all in. I got one there and another one. In, well, vault in the trunk. So tell me what y'all think. That's what I think. Drop a comment below. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. And this is everything. I want to get up in here and show you guys the whole setup. I love it. I love it. So far, so good. It looks, it looks sweet. But yeah, that's the hookup, man. It looks pretty clean.